dear sophia i have to prepare a project given by my teacher as an assignment i can get information from books but i want more what should i do it is simple you can use the internet yes it is a good idea please tell me how to do this sure romi let us learn about this in the chapter internet the term internet is the short form for international network it is the communication system of a network of millions of computers connected with each other across the globe the computers on this network communicate with each other by means of satellite signals telephone wires or wireless networks these days we all are dependent on the internet either through a smartphone laptop or a computer it is an integral part of our communicating society it is used in homes schools colleges banks and in many more institutions internet has taken roots in our lifestyle too we carry it in our mobiles and it is available on our wrist watches but initially internet was begun only for military and academic purpose in the 1960s by the us government to communicate with the french and the uk headquarters it was the us government which owned the internet in those days Today internet is regulated and directed by the following three organizations Internet Research Task Force IRTF This organization is responsible for making new research and advancement in the field of internet Internet Engineering Task Force IETF This organization is responsible for helping the IRTF implement their research in the internet Internet Activities Board IAB This organization makes rule for all the activities across the internet Some commonly used internet terms modem The modem is the short form for modulator demodulator It is the device through which our computer communicates with other computers Modem uses a telephone line or a wireless system to send or receive data from one computer to another modems are of two types let us learn about them internal modem the internal modem is inbuilt in the computer system only an internet wire is required to connect your computer to the internet while using an internal modem external modem the external modem is fitted outside the computer It helps you to connect more than one computer to a number of internet connections. This modem can also be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot. A Wi-Fi wireless fidelity hotspot is a zone inside which the internet can be accessed without attaching any wire to it. The modems providing the Wi-Fi support are called as Wi-Fi routers. Web browser The web browser is an application which is used by the user to open and browse the internet. Some commonly used web browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Safari, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. For learning about the internet in this chapter, we will be using Google Chrome as our default web browser. World Wide Web www www is the collection of a large number of interconnected web pages that are collectively called the web the web constitutes the internet we can access any information across the web pages website a website is the collection of related web pages on the internet every website has its own address which is its own identity We may open a website by typing its address in our web browser. Some commonly used websites are www.google.co.in, www.yahoo.co.in, www.sunnygames.eu. Web page. A web page is the screen of the website displayed on our computer screen. It may have a few on a large number of web pages. It displays the related information on our computer screen in HTML. Hypertext markup language. 
This information may be in the form of text, picture, video, etc. Home page. Every website has a main page to display its content. This main page is called its home page. It is the first page which opens as we open a website. The website owner may change the home page as and when required. Search engine. There are certain websites which help us to find any information across the internet. These websites are called search engines. The search engine works on the words typed by us. By matching these words across the web page available through the internet. Some commonly used search engines are Google.com, Ask.com, Bing.com, Yahoo.com. Hyperlink. A hyperlink is a link of web pages. By clicking on the hyperlink, we may directly access the web page or the website without opening the web browser and typing the web address. It always has an underline under it. By clicking on it, we will be directed to its web page. A computer system. A computer system is required to run the internet. Nowadays, mobile phones and tablets are also used to access the internet. An internet connection. An internet connection is provided by an ISP, internet service provider. An ISP is a company which provides us internet service for a fee. A modem or a Wi-Fi router. A modem may be provided by the ISP or we need to purchase it. Some of the best known modem or routers are Netgear and Belkin. With all these equipments, an ISP will install and run the internet on our system. Once we have an internet connection, we may access the internet anytime we want through your computer. To learn to start and access the internet, follow these steps. Step 1. On the main desktop screen, click on the Google Chrome icon. Or we may access Google Chrome through Start menu. Step 2. Now you may browse the internet. We can open any site on the Google Chrome by typing the website's address in its address bar. A modem or a Wi-Fi router. A modem may be provided by the ISP or we need to purchase it. Some of the best known modem or routers are Netgear and Belkin. With all these equipments, an ISP will install and run the internet on our system. Once we have an internet connection, we may access the internet anytime we want through your computer. To learn to start and access the internet, follow these steps. Step 1. On the main desktop screen, click on the Google Chrome icon. Or we may access Google Chrome through Start menu. Step 2. Now you may browse the internet. We can open any site on the Google Chrome by typing the website's address in its address bar. For browsing a website properly, let us know about various components of the Google Chrome window. Components of a web browser window. We can download any web browser such as Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome or Google Safari from the internet. Most of the components in all the web browsers are more or less the same. Let us learn about the important components of Google Chrome window. Address bar. The address bar is the space where we type the address of any website which we want to browse. All web addresses have three parts. For example, www.xyz.com. Here, www stands for World Wide Web. All web addresses start with www. XYZ is the username or name of the client or the company who owns the website. .com is the domain name. Here, .com is the domain name for commercial websites. Some other domain names, .edu, educational institutions, .org, organization, .com, commercial entity, .net, network provider, .gov, government. A dot separates the www from the username and the username from the domain name. Tab. 
in google chrome websites will open in a tab if we want to open another website we must first open a new tab through the new tab button available on the right side of the last open tab shortcuts the shortcuts are displayed as thumbnails of the most recent browsed websites we can click on these thumbnails to open these websites without typing the web address quick search the quick search is a new feature in google chrome which allows the user to add a search engine to the main window google is used as a search engine for google chrome we can search anything on the internet by typing a text on its quick search bar navigation buttons there are four navigation buttons on google chrome navigation bar the functions of these buttons are as follows back button this button helps us to move back to the last web page we browsed it is just like flipping the pages of a notebook in the back direction forward button once we have come back and need to go again in the forward direction then we may use the forward button refresh or reload button this button helps us to reload the web page if the page is not properly opened stop button this button appears when the web page is loading on our web browser it helps us to cancel navigation and stop the loading of the web page bookmark every web browser has a property to help us bookmark a specific web page or a website bookmarking helps us to visit the same website just by clicking on the link available in the bookmark collection we can bookmark any number of websites or web pages we do not have to type the web address of our favorite websites once we bookmark them accordingly searching on the internet internet is a vast source of knowledge we can search any topic on the internet within a fraction of second to search on the internet we need a search engine here we will use the most effective search engine that is google to learn how to search an article on the internet the steps are as follows step 1 open the web browser google chrome step 2 in the address bar type www.google.co.in although google chrome has a quick search option but we will be using the main google website for searching step 3 once the google main page is displayed we can type any text in the space provided this typed text will be searched across the internet for matching information Step 4 once the search is complete google will display the result for our search in the form of links of web pages we can go through them one by one to seek the information uses of the internet now that we have learned how to open and browse the internet we should use it as per our requirement some of the following are the most common uses of the internet let us learn about them email an email is the short form for the term electronic mail it is just like the letter which we write to others but is sent and saved on a computer social networking site the social networking sites are those sites which help people to communicate with a number of people simultaneously some examples of social networking sites are facebook.com twitter.com linkedin.com youtube.com instagram.com snapchat.com shopping the internet serves as a shopping mall to its user we may buy and sell any product across the whole world some common buying and selling sites are mintra.com shopclues.com amazon.com shopperstop.com snapdeal.com flipkart.com gaming the internet serves as a platform for games Many people can play the same game at the same time and can compete with other players. Some common examples of games are PUBG, Call of Duty, COD, Temple Run, Candy Crush, Mario, Angry Birds, Clash of Clans, Fortnite. Searching information. The internet is an excellent source of information. We can access any information across the internet in just a few seconds. we can also learn new things 
can read a book, watch our favorite cartoon, and do many other activities on the internet. Sharing The internet is best known for sharing data between its users. With the help of the internet, we can share music, films, games, pictures, files with another user anywhere across the whole world. Dictionary Web browser it is an application which is used by a user to open and browse the internet. Website. It is a collection of related web pages on the internet. Web page. It is the screen of the website displayed on our computer screen. Hyperlink. It is the link of the web page for connecting different web pages with the means of a linking system. Home page. It is the main page of any website. World Wide Web. It is a collection of websites. Let's refresh. Internet connects millions of computers worldwide. We may search, browse and share data on the internet. We need an internet connection, a modem and a computer system to connect to the internet. We can search for any information on a search engine. There are a number of uses of the internet such as email, shopping, games and much more. 